Okay, today I'm making a, an RV video for the Say family that live in Schulenburg, Texas. All right, Mrs. Say, I'm going to start right here with the tongue jack. This has an electric tongue jack that picks the tongue up and down when you're putting it on your truck. It also has a light in it, so if you're doing it at night, it's electric. Just hit the button up and down. If the battery were dead, you can take this off. It's got a hand crank to crank it up and down. It has two propane tanks, two propane tanks, right here in this box. Right behind here is where the batteries go for the RV. Walking around to this side, if you were camping somewhere or is at a place that didn't have electricity, you could get a solar panel, much like what's on that sticker right there, and it connects right here. That will charge up the battery in this unit. Okay, right here is storage that goes completely all underneath the RV. A lot and a lot and a lot of storage. Okay, it has an electric awning that comes out almost the entire length of the RV. The steps are brand new upgraded steps, very heavy duty aluminum. Okay, they do not fold. What they do is they simply, very, very easy to put up. They simply just rise up and go inside the door. Okay. Right here is an electrical outlet and a connection for a TV if you wanted to move the television outside. It has outside speakers that are weatherproof. Back here, traditional storage. Okay. Lots and lots of storage in this particular unit. On the back, it has a drop down rack that has a capacity of 300 pounds. You can put ice chests and bicycles, that sort of thing on there. There is your spare tire. If you come around this side, down here at the bottom is where you dump the dirty water and the gray water. From You dump the water from the toilet and the gray water from the sinks. This unit also has a fresh water tank. So you can fill up and the unit will have water on its own, carry its own water. Or right here you can hook a water hose and you will have water continuous. Like if you're at an RV park or where you're going to park it. Also this unit has an outdoor hot and cold shower for rinsing off when you're dirty before you go into the unit. When you wash out the toilet water, you no longer have to go inside and brush out the toilet itself. You hook a water hose to this black tank flush that automatically flushes and keeps it very clean. You never get your hands dirty. This is where the 30 amp electric service plugs in. This unit comes with a cord. All right. This is a vent on the side here for your heater. Here's where cable TV can connect. If you park somewhere you have cable TV. It has a propane water heater that has six gallons in it. The average shower utilizes about three gallons of water. Had it be completely empty with cold water in it, it just takes a very short time to heat up the entire six gallons. Again, because it's running on a propane. Now we're going to walk around and step inside the unit and I'll show you this unit. We'll just pan around just a little bit. Okay, in this unit we have storage above the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink is made out of stainless steel. We have a stainless steel faucet, very strong just like you would have in your house. This sink is countersunk down below 
the countertop. It does not have the lip on the edge, therefore it stays really, really clean right there. Very easy to keep clean. The microwave is a thousand watt microwave. Does have a popcorn button on it. The hood vent actually vents to the outside of the RV, which is a good feature just like a residential. The three burner stove is like residential. This is 10,000 BTU on this burner, 7,500 and 7,500. The advantage to that is you do not have to get RV pots and pans. You don't have to spend that money on RV pots and pans. You can use the pots and pans that you already have. It also has an oven. comes with a nice size oven. The refrigerator <coughs> runs off of propane and electricity, as you can see. Okay, nice size refrigerator. Okay. Stepping towards the back of the unit, this is a nice feature because it has a sink out here. Two people getting ready in the morning. One can actually be in taking a shower and the other one can utilize the sink for getting ready in the morning. This is the heat, this is the uh, thermostat for control in the unit to keep either hot or cold. It also has two large bunk beds in it that can be used as storage or when you have visitors. Here is some additional storage here. Now we're taking a look at the dinette set. That table is movable, it drops down, and you can make a, a queen size bed out of it. Here behind it is a couch that folds out into a double bed. Very nice, very nice couch. Behind is the master bedroom, okay? In this master bedroom, we have two wardrobes, equally the same size, very large. You can hang a lot of clothes in that unit. And if you'll notice, on each side of the bed, you have a nightstand. You also have a utility plug on each side of the unit. And there is a light up underneath that you can reach up and touch to turn on and off. Those are LED lights, they don't produce heat, and they last forever, so that's a good feature. Stepping back over here toward the sink is another power outlet and a tank level monitor. That mo You can check and see how much water is in your tank, any one of the three tanks, your black water, your gray water, or your fresh water tanks. The television mount for the inside is right there and you can see the connections above. This unit has a 13.5 BTU air conditioner in it. That's about 1.2 tons of air conditioning. Air conditioning. Um, that's plenty for a unit of this size. The awning outside is controlled right here on and off and here's your light switch I wanted to show you this unit Miss Say because this is a brand new unit it meets your uh, financial requirements it come in right about the right price it's brand new has has a big warranty on it one year bumper to bumper two years on all the appliances and 12 years on the roof we can most certainly deliver it there to Schulenburg, Texas, no problem. I think that uh, if we finance this, it would be about 10% down and somewhere around $190 per month. So, again, my name is Jim Gibbons. This is a video for the Say family in Schulenburg, Texas. And we're, I work at Cliff Jones RV and Tractor in Sealy. My telephone number is 281-802-0630. Thank you, Miss Say.